Guten Tag, meine Soldaten. I am always um, your Field Marshal, Vermont Gaming, and welcome to Episode 6 of the Rule the Waves campaign that we've been so gloriously playing. Last episode, we went to war with Germany and Russia, managed to pull a victory off of the Russians. Um, we leveled most of their battlecruiser flotillas. Germany, we didn't do much to, but the Russians, we did a number on their destroyers, their cruisers, and their battlecruisers, which was pretty good for me. Um, it's been a good run so far. We've gotten most of Northeast Asia. We're not ending this game till 1950, and we've got 30 years to take more land. And I am not trying away from war at this point. Um, motor torpedo boats? I don't know what that'll give us, so no thanks. Um, I might start researching naval technology from the Germans when I get a good budget up again. Improve triple turrets. I don't want that because I can get quad turrets. They're close to improving, improve power training and elevation. Good, good to hear. Oikaze is commissioned. Our spy reported something. New guy commissioned. Um, solve outstanding tension. I don't want to piss off the U.S. Out of all the nations to make mad, America's got four dreadnoughts, five battle cruisers, and ten light cruisers. They can easily send our entire navy to the grave. I'm not risking that war. Um, by all means, buy my stuff, Italians. I will happily oh, issue them an ultimatum. And the Germans took North Korea. So once we kick the Russians out of Northeast Asia, it looks like we're fighting the Germans, and then maybe eventually even the dern, the dirty Brits. Um, that does sound like a plan to me. They want improved driving gear. By all means, take it. Take it. Enjoy it. Learn to love it. And negative monthly budget on any construction we put up for a larger ship at this point. So who else can we mothball? We can mothball all of these. Yes, 71,000. I don't want to mothball the battleship. Not yet. Well, I will train navies. We can, mm, not without additional funding. We can't. Give me more money. There we go. Now we're in the positive again, so it doesn't bother me as much. And we'll put in two more medium-range submarines. The Osaka under construction, best fire control, yes. Save on expense. Yes. Ally with America? Yes. We can do without the unreliable French guns. We're not really using four inch guns. I don't see the reason to spend money. Um, the Osaka is now commissioned. We cannot risk that vital technology. Cooperation will benefit both of us. That's what we're gonna go with. And now we can build our we can look to building our first dreadnought. Nope, give me a better design. There we go. And we'll up it to the maximum of fifty two thousand. Alright, forward and aft are gonna be can we get seventeen inch guns? No, sixteen inch. Forward, quadruple turret, aft, quadruple turret. Forward and aft superimposed are also going to be quadruple turrets. And then we're quite overweight. Oof. Okay. The aft turret we can get rid of. Aft center line. Hmm. Torpedo defense. Can that go up at all? No. Combination normal. We'll do 22 knots on the dreadnought. We'll delete that turret. Lower the guns to 5 inches on the secondary batteries. Can't really do more ammo. And we'll get some dual-mounted tertiaries. 
quality ones. We'll check it. All is okay. The reason I'm doing quadruple guns is because this is 16 guns right here. And no matter where they're at, they're superimposed, so we'll have eight. We'll have half of our guns leveled at them, no matter where they go. And speed of 22 knots, that's cruising for a ship of this size. So, And we'll name this one the Okinawa. And all is okay. Okinawa, the build dialogue. And we'll start the construction. Cost 10 million more. And now that we've got that, um, how do we decommission? Scrap it. Yep. 205,000. Um, three new Navy secretaries have read a book on naval strategy. Extolling, how do you want to... He wants you to build at least three additional cruisers. Alright, so we're going to have to pause the Okinawa right after we started building it. And build our complaining naval men three new cruisers. If we go to the Almanac, we've got four of those, which is around the number that I want. We're too short on these, so we'll build two and one. Um, let's go to the year 1911. And we'll open the design for a rebuild place the machinery. Let's see, can I up your guns to five inches? All's okay on that. Give you some casemates. Maybe. Too many tertiary guns for displacement. All is okay. On some more ammunition on your primary six inches. All right. So we're going to just up the crap out of the gunnage on this ship. That's what I'm looking at. And if I save the design, all's okay. Okay. The 1922 uni cost. We'll build two of you. And where's our armored cruiser, the Fuji class? Can I upgrade you at all? Let's see. Open your design for a rebuild. Replace your machinery. Mm, more 8 inches? Nope. Oh. Can I up the guns to 10 inches? No, I cannot. Not comfortably. Um, caliber 8. More powerful 8 inch guns. Caliber 4, 5. More powerful 3 inch guns. There we go. 22. All is okay. Save that. Yes, the Fuji 1922. Okay. So we've got the Fuji going under a refit. Uh, light cruiser going under a refit. New U.S. ship. Battle cruiser New Jersey. We're about to go to war with the Germans again. Osaka finished her workup. Good, good. Love to hear. Turrets, main mounting, increased elevation. Longer range. By all means, Russia, give me more money for my massive naval expenses. Increased industry. We'll protest energetically. Um, improved 6-inch guns. That's good to hear. See, I didn't think they were going to get that mad right away. Oh, it's because I refit those ones? Okay. And we'll blame the Russians again. It's without a doubt the Russians. It's always Russia. Russia causes all the problems in this game. Mm, triple bottom something we're actually interested in. Better damage control. I don't know how the Russians can have so much technology on us, but yeah. We'll apologize to the French. ASW technology effective in sight. All right. We'll wait until my light cruiser, the Chijota, finishes. Once that finishes, we'll start building the Dreadnought again. 
Um, torpedo protection three. I don't really need it. I'm not designing any new ships right away. My dreadnoughts are kind of, they come one at a time. Improved six inches though. So we'll open your design, go down, go up. All's okay. Kind of overwrite. Um, can we scrap it? We'll scrap the Okinawa. We'll design it. Give it better quality six inches. Must have a fire control. The director. Design ship. Oh yeah, we gotta go into this. Okay, so find the Okinawa. Uh, we'll up the quality of the guns. Could I up my ammunition at all? There we go. That's something I could have done. And then better. Do we have good six inches? Yes, we do. That's a lot of weight for extra ammo. All right. There's the Okinawa now. Yep, we'll overwrite it. We got bigger guns and we got a few more guns. And we'll say OK. Generate the random ship name, Okinawa, 10 million for the initial expenses, and we'll put you on halt. Um, improved triple turrets, we do not need. Convoy system, reduction in losses to submarines. That's always good to hear because I think Germany has a huge submarine fleet. No, but Russia has a massive sub force. It's quite the monstrosity. It's six million a turn for that. I'm gonna be losing four million when I do it. So Russian government, yeah, I'll sell all the technology I can right now. I really don't care who buys my tech. I'll sell my soul at this point because I'm gonna be two million in the negative every turn. We got scouting forces enabled, and we'll resume your construction. Um, we do not need the secondary director right now. We were helping the Italians develop better technology. By all means, buy my improved face hardening. That'll give me some more turns that I can build the Dreadnought. And the Izumi and the Chiyoda finished up their workups. Better damage. Um, we'll raise the tension with the Russians. And in the Almanac, once that's up, I'll have the single largest Dreadnought out of any nation which will be amazing. Um, I don't want to do partial weldings. It'll be really good for damage control, but it's not worth it right now. Improvements, um, without a doubt, most likely enemy in a future war, again, is going to be the Russians. I want the Russians out of, out of everything. New Italian battle cruiser to Marco Polo, 12, 14 inch guns. That's a little scary. Um, 23 months and we've only got 20 months left um handle it quietly and discreetly subdivision and damage control so we are really helping the italians move and they're not helping us too much that kind of sucks um budget tension prestige mine laying japan and germany are now at a state of war but we can bring a surprise attack against the Germans and we'll mobilize the entire fleet. Singao. All right. Every vessel known to the Japanese Navy in. Come on. I said mobilize the whole fleet and you're not even giving me my. You're serious? Alright. I said mobilize all ships, but it didn't want to give me my battle cruisers, I guess. I mean, hopefully my destroyers torpedo enough to make up for my lacking and everything else. Um. Oh wow, we're really gonna hit him in port.
moved yet. Yep. All right. So we're going to avoid the minefield when we move through. I don't know why my destroyers only shot one torpedo and then left. I get it. They're like trying to support me, but they could have done a lot more damage. I should have turned all these to support right away. That way they would come in and torpedo. torpedoes so we'll leave her for the moment we've got a lot of enemy ships and we only lost I think one that was a really good fight um, and we'll yeah so <laughs>
see. I can't turn all of you off of AI control, but I Look at that, major victory wiped out most of the German fleet in the area. Or heavily damaged the rest of it. Yep. Catch Sao Bay. Which was in the Northern Theater. Which means I have, like, complete control of this theater of the conflict. Um, mine sweeping. This is where I take everything that's been mothballed and move it to ASW and Coastal Patrol. And now I have 25 ships on it. Most of my fleet is, um, Coastal Patrol vessels. Lovely, lovely. Convoy defense. Yeah, we're not gonna fight stuff in that theater of the war. Southeast Asia is its own thing. I'm not too worried about it. Fleet tactics. The U.S. is going to keep going. Wow. They took a cruiser action. Alright, the Izumi is going to fall back to the rest of the fleet. Maximum burn. The Fuji is going to move in. Maximum burn. And the Unebi is going to head back to the fleet on maximum burn. We are going to try and... you might ask, because as soon as they go to the rest of the fleet, and we'll turn the line, that is most definitely a torpedo run. Damn it! How's the Fuji holding up? Yeah, half flotation. We're not gonna. F nope. We're not risking her in this engagement. We'll send you back to port. Which means we're only gonna have two light cruisers. <laughs> Guns are just there we go. Turn around. Don't know in what universe I would only consider that.
and yeah, he eventually sunk. That was a German win. Um, yeah, it was a memorable battle um, because we lost. <laughs> And we'll design, a, or we'll not design, we'll get another coastal submarine in the waters. Convoy defense. You know, this game's really lacking when it comes to giving me my vessels. Um, I've designed a shit ton of battle cruisers, and I'm getting none of them in these missions. I've got. And we'll put you to maximum. The DD-522 is a displacement of 900, four four-inch guns, three five-inch guns, and two three-inch guns of a displacement. Which means in total... also got a lot of torpedoes on our newer ships. Come on. Heavy damage to the DS-22. Can we switch you off of AI control? We can. And we'll put you in line ahead. Squat maximum. We're going to try and sink this. Presumed loss, minor victory, we lost a single submarine. Good thing I've been working on my submarine fleet every time I get a bigger budget. Improve 13 inch guns. Cruiser action. We'll accept it. Gru begrudgingly accept. Because it never gives me my battle cruisers. <laughs> got three of them and it refuses to offer them to me when I need them for cruiser engagements that's literally what I have them for is to win cruiser engagements in a brutal manner all right maximum burn let's go Ella has five four inch guns and we're dealing with ten six inches on the Izumi and ten six inches on the Unebi <laughs> about the Brennan 10 5 inches. Yeah, so we outrange them. We outgun them. But do we outcrew them? It looks like no. Do we have. We've got 4 5 inches and 18 3 inches. So if we get close, that's all she wrote. So if we get where my 3 inch guns can have effective damage. Okay, it's just the water getting darker because it's getting deeper. That's a torpedo hit. Are you on fire? wonder why it doesn't Oh, 
is your rudder jam. Yeah. Late damage from two torpedoes. You got some damage. All right, Japan, major victory. We sunk one of their light cruisers and damaged the other one. Good shit. We can deal with their lower naval budget for a little bit. All right. And, of course, this is going to be the one where they deploy... Yep, because I've got my battle cruiser division. This is going to be the one where they deploy their dreadnoughts. How did I know? Okay. Turn and burn, boys. Wait for the um, relief boats. Maximum burn. Maximum burn. Where's sunlight at? Okay. So this whole battle is going to be in broad daylight. Or we can just, yeah, we can just try and fuck them up, I guess. I don't see them yet. So. There they are. If you guys don't drive towards those battle cruisers, y'all are a bunch of dinks. Okay. Where's our sight range? Our sight range is literally just about our engagement range. Let's put him in line ahead, and you'll be a support role. Ten fifteen inch guns to sixteen twelve inchers. Yeah, so we've got more guns than they do under dreadnoughts. Overall that's a good plus for us. And we've scored two hits. Gobin class is 10, 15 inches. The Hanover class is 12, 12 inches. Either way, we've still got them outgunned. You zoom. Engine room spin hit. 
So for now, she's out. Until they can repair the damage. Gobin class. Are you at any sort of damage that I can see? Heavy damage to the Gobin. And light damage and medium damage. So my battle cruisers are going to take off after their dreadnoughts. My cruisers are going to try and blow through the formation. How fast are the German vessels? 23 knots, 24 knots, and 23 knots. The Osaka took some hits. Turret Alright. Send you all through there. Takachiko, Nebi, and whenever you can get back up to speed. Hard left rudder. And you'll all peel right. This way, peel this way. The Akoma has been immobilized. Hopefully, that doesn't mean they're dead. Yep, okay. Time to leave. The lighter cruisers can mop it up. Time to leave. Time to leave. Alright, we did our damage. The Okoa is trying to leave, the Osaka is trying to leave, and the Sakuba is also immobilized. And we'll send the Which means we're going to have to pull back the rest of Launching a torpedo. Um, the Unagi. Like how it says old. Like, yeah, that's a grandpa ship, by the way. Yeah, so all we've got is engine issues with this one. Sakuba is now back in action. Alright, there's a transport getting away. We can't let that happen. The Sakuba's underway. Oh, they're coming in for another pass. Squad Max, nope.
Yakoma's in, the Sakuba's in. Can I put you in? No. Okay. So much Swiss cheese will be made out of the German vessels. Cuba. We're going to send everything up at this last merchant ship. I don't want a single German merchant marine alive after this battle. This little German expeditionary force. Let's see the Unagi battle cruiser divisions. The and we'll chase the Germans back to port as well, because I'm assuming that transport. Yeah, that transport's not. Sakuba's up, Yayama's up, Unagi, and the Osaka Squadron Maximum. The Izumi's launching torpedoes. Sakuba's up. Squadron maximum. And we've got the Germans pinned into the island. Perfect, perfect. in our way. If we have any DDs come up and they can torpedo these dreadnoughts, this will be great. Got the dreadnoughts between a rock and a hard place. I've got more battle cruisers coming down the line. Plenty of daylight left. Before we get hit by the that's more along the lines of my luck, and your flotation's really bad, so we'll pull the Sakuba completely out of that engagement. And send the light cruisers. And we're torpedoing. And the destroyer division's catching up with the Osaka.
MLS is getting turned into so much Swiss cheese. The Sakuba is on its way out. And the Osaka and them are on their way in. Hanover class hit. Koma submerged torpedo Ukagi. Okay. Unebi. Hanover class in the front is now taking a ton of damage. If I can see so beautiful. Uh, Osaka and them are heading up right in front. Sakuba is trying to get out. Light damage, light damage. Minutes are just ticking by, ticking by. All right. And we're turning the Germans into so much Swiss cheese. How about the Akoma? How are you doing, buddy? No one knows. The Osaka's superstructure's been hit. I'm gonna try and keep these guys here. Until we can torpedo them to death. And we're going to risk our destroyers, because I will happily trade all of the destroyers in my fleet for three dreadnoughts. <laughs> oh, the Izumi's heavily damaged. Nebi, Izumi. Squad Max. Squad Max. There go the destroyers, torpedoes away. Saka, everyone's going to turn. Light damage, medium damage, medium damage. the enemy fired their own spread of torpedoes. I got two of my ships for one of their ships when I fired like twice as many. Mm-hmm. Oh, torpedo generation. Sink in this German fleet. I don't care at this point. It's dying. The Germans deserve it. Sinking. Medium damage. Medium damage. Okay. So that one's sinking. And we'll send all of our ships in like this, all of our light ships. Brave that. And we'll turn and attempt to sink some more German vessels. Medium damage and on fire. 
the Akoma and the Osaka. Are Don't know how you repaired from sinking to fine. AI in this game, I'm telling you. Yeah, this is going to end up being a horrendous battle for me, unless I can get these. This is ridiculous, dude. All these torpedoes are not one German vessel. None of the ones that matter. I'll run you right into the wall, buddy. Don't think I won't. I've suffered. I've gotten rid of my entire fleet. It's not the same. I like how their ships can come back from sinking, but once it tells me my ships are sinking, they're just dead. Well, this is what happens when you get greedy, people. You lose the entire Japanese fleet. Um, Yeah, that was a bad episode. So, I think I just lost my war. So I think the only real surviving vessel was the Sakuba class. God damn it! This makes me mad, because, like, and flooding increases in the Sakuba. I'm going to lose all my fucking battle cruisers. Are you kidding me? There logically should have been no way those dreadnoughts could have gotten out. I had the more guns, I had more vessels, and, like, more torpedoes. I hit them with more torpedoes than they could hit me with. It's, just, it's, it's a ridiculous notion. I lost my entire fleet. Everything. Yeah, no shit the Germans won a major fucking victory. They sunk fucking everything, because this was bullshit. I got one dreadnought. One fucking dreadnought. I wiped out, like, everything of theirs. And in it... Ret oh, oh. I'm gonna bitch about this one for a while. The amount of fucking torpedoes. I shot the German way. Yeah, no. The slaughter of North Korea. That wasn't a battle. The blunder of North Korea. Fucking blunder, because that's exactly what happened. Because logically, if you have a shit ton of torpedoes, and you're going against a lot of slow ships, you, you'd think, you would think, you'd be wrong, but you would think that you could pull ahead. No, not in this game. No. <laughs> Getting a little mad. It is a good game. The game's really fun to play. I personally enjoy it. I just don't like when shit like that happens. It, it irks me. Um... Logically, to me, there should have been no way the Germans pulled ahead with a win there. That's just, I guess that's personal ideas, but, like, I don't think the Germans should have taken that win at all. There's there's no real logical way to me that the Germans win there. We had more torpedoes, we had more vessels, more guns 
in general. So the fact that the Germans won to me is kind of baloney. But this is just me um, getting a little mad. If you can't tell, game's really fun. But sometimes, sometimes I get um, get quite annoyed. And we'll lower it to 26 knots in exchange for... We'll get the aft center line to triple barrel. And we'll get some more tertiaries. Well, this will be the new Sakuba class. No. I do not want it as a BB. I want it as a BC. Which means I am going to have to lower the aft super or the aft center line to the double turret hopefully i don't get chased off in i'm not planning on it um sakuba class all is okay all is okay design that already exists da, da, da. monthly build cost four million we're gonna have to rebuild that entire fleet and i think that put the germans ahead no it completely leveled the playing field it wiped the entirety of both of our navies in one engagement. Here's the thing, though, is when they get their stuff back, they're going to have two ships, two dreadnoughts. And the Americans aren't killing enough of their ships. Um, no. And the U.S. ship BB Delaware has been sunk. Great. Another American loss. Northern Marianas, which means there's gonna they're gonna move their ships. Not doing it. Cruiser action. If I see a dreadnought, I'm buggering out. That's literally the gist of this engagement. If that's a dreadnought, we run. What 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 kind of cruiser engagement involves a dreadnought? Dreadnought that can go 23 knots on top of that. Put your spread of torpedoes out there. It's not like you're going to hit anything because you guys can't hit anything. Because if you can't hit them when they're standing still and in a corner, you obviously can't hit them when they're at speed in open waters. Sorry. Not happening. Yep, everyone's entering port. You're going to be my new Flag Force Division in a minute. Yep. We're not. Nope. So the scenario's over. Marginal victory for us. We sunk a submarine. Um, that German dreadnought's going to rule the waters until I get my own dreadnought. And with all the losses we took, let's see, 183,000. Or 183 million, 1852 one, million. 891, build one of you, and design chip, destroyer, 1400, what's our current destroyer at? It's at 1200 is our biggest currently fielded destroyer, so we can get a new one. Alright, aft superimpose, double mounted. Two things, triple torpedoes. Let's do port broadside and starboard broadside port, starboard. Superimposed four inch guns, local only. It's 
So if you get swivel mounts, you can't get submergible mounts. Oh wait, no you can't. No you can't, okay. Can we make you faster? No. Can we give you tertiaries? We can. Uh, we'll dump the rest into ammo. Actually, quality one, five inch guns. Little more valuable. Okay, there we go. 431, 863, and we'll commission two more DDs. Hopefully to regain some of those gross losses on the Germans, because now they have strategic advantage. Oh, we took the Northern Marianos, and we lost the ground war. Cool. Mm, yeah, no, we're not going to lay down our arms lately. Not after that engagement. Um, 1.5, we'll do another one of you. Another Uni class. Redesigned from 1922, and it is now 25. Another cruiser action, they're not able to muster enough strength. Yeah, well, it may backfire, especially because we're losing. Convoy defense. They're going to bring in their dreadnought. I guarantee it. Oh, nope. Yep, wait, no. CA is definitely their dreadnought. Let's see if we can at least get some torpedoes at it. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually an armored cruiser. That's a first. We'll start spreading torpedoes in there. Torpedoes are away, and we'll leave, and we'll circle back. Another spread of torpedoes, and they're going to turn. Yep, we'll keep them going like this. And we'll pull out now. Seems like a good time to do so. Lost another destroyer. Thought I could torpedo it, but apparently our torpedoes must just suck. So. We'll just hover around these transport ships. Yep, minor German victory. Something I am learning, if the AI takes any damage, they just return to port. We got an enemy vessel. I don't know why you're going to have me do convoy defense. I don't want to do it.
Wait, sighting range. Okay. Knife fight. <laughs> yep, no. Pull out. Pick up the Asama. Germans are doing what the Germans do, which is using their dreadnoughts for convoy raiding. And we're just going to escort these. I'm not fighting a German dreadnought, not until I get my own dreadnought. And even then, considering how this game's been going, we've just been getting very unlucky. This playthrough's been cursed. Fired all those torpedoes. I mean, you guys watched them. Tons and tons and tons of torpedoes flying at an enemy vessel, and we still didn't get him. Um, operations to the USA. Enemy coastal raid. I can't afford to lose the VP. Even though they're just going to win. God, I wish we were fighting the Russians again. Those losses against the Russians weren't too bad. They were always uh, palpable. I could always come back. This one? Mm, I swear with the Germans. Not going well at all. So... We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're in knife fighting. Turning this deep. There we go. Now we're leaving. As fast as we can. So we found the Germans. They completed their objective. They got their coastal installation. But we got one of their destroyers for one destroyer. Not at all a fair trade on our end, but at this point, I'm scraping whatever I can. That terrible defeat was um, it's rough. Quite rough. And we're all going to hide. I'm not fighting a German dreadnought. I don't... Oh, it's the torpedo did light damage. That's how we scored a minor victory. We're barely squeaking by right now. And we're just going to keep building more submarines while these build. Once the Okinawa's done, I gotta seek to rebuild the battery cruiser fleet. The Uni's gonna die. Oh, nope, the Bremen escaped. Um... Submarines, mine laying subs. Those are good. Yeah, we're declining. They're going to come in with a dreadnought. There's there's no reason to. Game is over. And we're going to play on. Um, We finished two coastal subs. Allies added 10 victory points. It says it's a cruiser action, but it's going to put me against dreadnoughts. What's our sighting range? At least it's knife fighting distance. So we can hopefully score some torpedoes. So we're going to go in, we're going to torpedo, we'll leave, and we'll come back. Well, those are transports. I'll happily sink some armed merchant marines. No 
German vessels left, so they only had the merchant ships. Good thing I took that fight. Um, no land. I'm not giving the Germans any territory. And it's going to put us against dreadnoughts, like it always does. It's going to put us against a single German dreadnought. And this is not knife fighting distance. This is not something I want to be taking any part of. A light cruiser. Uh, oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. It's a their torpedoes so we'll chase <laughs> squad max And, of course, he's going to piss off at the highest speed possible. Yep, we're just going to chase him down, hopefully. This will be the last engagement of the video. After that terrible engagement, I'm hoping we can eke by a loss on the Germans. I have no way how we're no idea how we're gonna do it, but I'm hoping it can happen. And yep, you're an unidentified ship again, and you're gone. And he's running back to port Chenampo. Because he's been damaged. And that's a land fortification. We'll avoid. They're going to have no vessels left at sea. Yep. Marginal victory. And with that, and the grim news of the entire, the destruction of my entire battle cruiser fleet that we had been building up, hyping up, and getting ready, and with most of my fleet now reduced to minesweepers, um, we'll end it there. Hopefully next time we can build up our Dreadnought, get the Okinawa into the water. Once the Okinawa is into the water, things will go a lot better, considering the Germans have no new Dreadnoughts underway, and it'll outclass just about anything the Germans throw at it. Um, yeah, have a good day, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Have a good day.